think that after a while, this is going to be the only thing left here, the way everything else is dying. Runoff has killed most. The orchards are dying by, by thousands. Uh, last year was a little, little worse than the year before. This year has gotten quite ridiculous. I said, um, over time, everything you can imagine as far as the watermen is, is pretty much gone. All right, so going forward, farming, farm-raised oysters, what do you see in the future 10 years down the road? We have about 6,000 acres under lease now. I think that's going to expand every year. I think we're going to uh, see a lot of new farms, new methods of farming. Um, we're setting up a demonstration oyster farm at one of the university sites down here near Cambridge where we can actually show people different types of gear. You've seen some from uh, being out with, uh, with growers. Um, there are probably some good inventions that haven't even arrived yet uh, for, for raising oysters. A lot of time with your hands on an oyster. A lot of these companies, they've got a lot of machinery. They've got a lot of uh, technology to run that oyster through a machine. You touch that oyster with your hand, you'll see whether it's good or not. You've got, a, you've got what we call a bio, a pretty oyster. You know, then you, then you, then you have a longer oyster like this that hasn't been shooken as well. Uh, you know, you put that back in the water to shake it around. That oyster will expand a little bit as well as small. We'll sit here. We'll go through these. Each oyster is hand touched. To be honest with you. I thought when we started to bring the industry back, it was going to be people around my age bracket that were going to be eating them, and it's not. It's basically the 20 and 30 somethings who really have put the uh, the impetus on the growth of the oyster bar industry in uh, in the region. Um, it's really kind of fun to see that. Well, most of the uh, people who've gone into oyster aquaculture have a, a great feeling for trying to improve the bait, and uh, it's really helping quite a bit. You're making your business work, but you're also doing your part for the bank. Correct, correct. You know, you, you're, every, everything is, is touched here, you know, versus you don't, you don't know what the oyster looks like. You don't know how poor an oyster is. You don't know what the living of the oyster is catching it, you know, wild. Here, you grow the oyster. The oyster's always pretty. How, how do people know what they're eating when they're, when they're at the restaurant? They, they should tell by the taste. The taste here is always better.